What grief moves you to invoke your god so openly? Ah, perhaps my prayers have been answered. Uh, could you help a humble monk pay his respects? You are well armed for a monk. I was a violent man in a former life, who now seeks to atone in service to God. Though I will admit, some of my old skills have served me well in performing his work. I can respect a warrior who has found a higher calling. What is your need? I seek a holy man, buried in one of the older, overgrown graves. But I cannot read the epitaphs written in your tongue. A simple enough task. I will see what I can find. It would be a very old grave, overgrown with weeds. Benedict the Dark, a man of great appetites. I do not believe the Christians sanctify gluttony. John of Shiraz. He gambled more than he gained, but always shared his winnings. A generous man, but not one worthy of worship. Leo the Enlightened. His wisdom was only exceeded by his piousness. Ah, here is one deserving of some reverence. Monk, I believe I have found your saint. God be praised. I must retrieve the bones before we are discovered. I thought you were here to pay respect, not rob a grave. There is no theft. His bones belong to the church, and will do more good among the faithful than rotting in the ground. If your church has no objection, then who am I to judge? There is only one whose judgment matters, and I trust he will be forgiven. Hey! Stop what you're doing! Unfortunately, the Khalifa's men are not so tolerant of unlicensed grave digging. Explain yourselves, you filthy shits, or die! Hmm. They are guilty of worse crimes. God forgive me, but there are times when violence is the only cause. On that, we are agreed. Time to down! Yes! You see? Me? What better? <coughs> you are not what you should I will kill you! Stop! What the? <coughs> There was no other way to resolve this. These kinds of men understand only violence and cruelty. You have performed God's will, my friend. He will surely bless you with good fortune. I answer to another calling. But I will not turn down a bit of extra luck. What troubles you? My friends, my neighbors, all dead, slain by an evil spirit. Evil spirit? I saw her. As-Sa'la! 
a most deadly creature. You saw her? Are you certain? Yes, I, I am certain. With your true eye or your mind's eye, the latter cannot always be trusted. Taban, no matter the eye, what else could it be to take so many lives so quickly? It will not be the first demon I have met, nor will it be the last. Flesh blistered, almost melted in places. A most unnatural death. Chinese markings. The emblem of the Khalifa's palace. The air. Its burning touch gnaws at my skin. Is this the breath of the Sihla? The crystals within this jar. My guess, Salomoniac, or something like it. I should not linger. The poisoned vapor from the crystals has grown weak, but could still prove deadly. Men with wagons came from that direction. Merchants stopped here, watered their animals at the river. Something was offloaded. The tracks suggest it was the villagers doing. Was the wagon's owner even aware? I must share my findings with the survivor. I am glad the Sala did not get you. Was it a hard fight? Not at all. Which is usually the case when the opponent does not exist. Of course she exists! There is no demon. Not here. It was the desperation of your friends that led to this tragedy. What? Are you sure? Chinese merchants passed through, pausing to water their animals. Correct? At this point, your friends decided to steal a chest of jars, not knowing they held a harmful vapor. Most likely something the Khalifa's alchemists requested for their studies. When your friends opened the jars, the poison killed them within a few heartbeats. I know that look. Shame. Guilt. The jars? It was my idea to steal them. I... I thought they might hold something we could sell. <sighs> I am sorry. Truly, I am. But now you must live with the consequences of your actions. What have I done? I have caused the deaths 
of so many. How can I ever live with this terrible burden? Looks like he has gotten himself into a tricky situation. You will break your neck! Who is the brave little squirrel up there? He is not a squirrel. His name is Young Eagle. We should not have dared him to go up there, but he was being so boastful. Now we're all going to get in trouble. I will get him down. My name is Basim, and I climbed up here without thinking it through. Do you think you could help me get down? When I was your age, I did all kinds of foolish things to impress my friends. I did not do it for them. I did it for the Hidden Ones. Ah, the Hidden Ones. Not everyone believes in them, but I do. They're the true protectors of the people. They were the ones who avenged my mother. Not the Khalifa or his men. The Hidden Ones did that. I see. And you thought this would get their attention, climbing up here. I heard they can die from great heights and not get hurt. But I cannot do something unless I see someone else do it first. Do you think you could do it if I showed you? Yes, you can. Do not overthink it. You simply need to have faith. I am fine. Give me a second. Are you hurt? No, nothing broken. You are a fast learner. I told you, I can do anything if only someone shows me first. That is a valuable talent. Be sure to have a good teacher next time you try something risky like that. You could teach me. <laughs> I am no teacher. I still have much to learn. No, you are a good teacher. You teach by example. Are, are you... Seek me out when your voice begins to break. Then we will talk. <laughs> Come on, Hyson. 
him before the Muezzin catches us. I am coming. My heart, Yasidi, it fails me. Let me find you some help. Perhaps there is a doctor I can take you to. Too late. Yet, there are still many things I must do. My life's work, a treatise upon the heavenly stars. I must get it to the House of Wisdom before my rivals claim it and steal my glory. If you wish, I can deliver the treatise for you. And then, there is my beloved son. Today, he and I argued most bitterly. Without his forgiveness, I cannot. I will fetch him so that you can make your peace. No, the treaties first. Help me retrieve it, please. I shall do so. My father was an architect. He too had his glory stolen by a rival. Hmm. <laughs> 
الأفضل أن أعكس الكعب الجوار Sit. I will find the treatise. It has three pages, each separate from the others. Please, find them for me. There you are. heavily in my hands.
These numbers are beyond my understanding. That is all of them. I must return to the astronomer. <clears throat> My father, he has passed from this life. Ahsan Allahu Azaakum. The spirit left him before I arrived. Though his body remains warm to my touch. We argued earlier. It was my fault. I came to make amends, but I was too late. And you? Who are you? A momentary friend. I retrieved your father's treatise. And now I offer it to you. He said it was his life's work. His... His life's work? Those were his words, yes. I see. And me? What did he say of me? He begged me to seek you out, but I ignored him and chose to secure the treatise for the sake of posterity. Posterity? Lahanakallah, I am his child, and you denied me my final moments with him? Just go. The sight of you makes me sick. Let me grieve my father in peace. What are you gawking at? You sound like someone in need of help. I will take it when I can. Then I shall offer it. What is the problem? This house belonged to my mother before she passed away. It holds an object of great value. A treasure, you might say. A treasure? Ha! Suddenly he's all ears! Treasure intrigues me, but it does not rule my heart nor my ears. Anyway, unless I find a way inside, the treasure is lost forever. As a child, I was quite the treasure hunter. Now is as good a time as any to renew that interest. For a fee? So be it. After the job is complete. Where exactly will I find this treasure? My mother, a potter by trade, hid it inside a blue lusterware amphora. Lusterware? That is a treasure in itself. After her death, 
my grief was great and I could not bring myself to enter the house and claim my birthright. Now I return only to find the place has sunk. Please, bring me what is mine. Your birthright shall be restored. Hopefully, the damp has not damaged the treasure. Here is the amphora. No way to open it other than to break it. Whatever it contains must be of great value. Have you found the amphora yet? What is this? A lump of copper? Here is your treasure. Ha! <laughs> Was it greed or clumsiness that led you to breaking the amphora? If I had not broken it, you would have. There was no other way to open it. And besides, since when was a lump of copper considered to be a great treasure? Your ignorance betrays you. With this copper, I will make a hundred lustreware vases. Now here is your fee. Mine is a small forfeiture for breaking my mother's amphora. It held sentimental value, you know. Is that you, Ben? Is that you, Ben? 
It is all right. I know you. I cannot place your face, but you bear our mark. I am Neji, one of Mentor Rehan's informers. I asked for a more difficult assignment, but maybe I should not have. Tell me the problem. I tracked a pair of corrupt guards to the place where they take their bribes. But I do not think I can handle both. Well done so far. Between us, we can finish the job. Follow my lead. Congratulations. Your first official assignment as a hidden one is complete. I could not have done it without your help. Nonsense. With a little more training, you will do fine. You simply need more confidence. You really think so? I do. Only a rare few succeed perfectly on their first attempt. Do not give up. Thank you, Bessem. I shall report back to Mentor Rehan and see what he says. I almost had him. I think. <laughs> 